Welcome to a tutorial from the Faculty of Arts at the University of Alberta. This video will be an overview of course registration using BearTrax. The University of Alberta acknowledges that we are located on Treaty 6 territory and respects the histories, languages, and cultures of the First Nations, Métis, Inuit, and all First Peoples of Canada, whose presence continues to enrich our vibrant community. Before building your schedule, get familiar with your basic requirements and any requirements for a chosen major or minor. To do this, you can check out the tip sheet linked in the description and on our website. You can also check out the BA and BA Honours videos linked in the description. Another way to check is by using a tool in BearTrax called Academic Requirements. If your program is not currently in the tool, you can find requirements in the University Calendar linked in the description. Remember, any course that is not a requirement for your degree program is considered an elective or an option. So if you have room for electives, register in whatever else interests you beyond your program. A great way to explore all of your options is by browsing our programs and department web pages linked in the description. You can access Bear Tracks from any of the University of Alberta web pages. The link is found at the top. To log in, use your CCID and password. Your CCID is the same as the University of Alberta email that we gave you when you applied, just without the at ualberta.ca part. Once in Bear Tracks, make note of your enrollment date. This date is when you'll be able to register or enroll in courses. You can start building your schedule before this date, but think of the enrollment date as when you can officially take up a place in that course. There are two ways to find courses. First is class search and enroll, and second is browse course catalog. If you know the term, course code, and number of the course you are looking for, you can type it directly into the class search and enroll search bar. Browse Course Catalog will allow you to search courses for the entire academic year, both fall and winter. This is useful in case the course that you wanted to register in in fall is only available in winter or the other way around. If you know the course code, you can type it directly into the search bar. If you don't know the code, select additional ways to search. You can search keywords, but if you're not already familiar with our systems, it would likely be faster to use the additional ways to search option. Under Available Subjects, you will see a drop-down menu with all available courses at the University. Use this tool to browse the many options available to you and introduce you to the course codes. If this is your first year and you want to narrow your search to only first-year courses, type in a 1 in the box below Catalog Number contains value. Note: Courses with titles in French or with course codes that start with AU belong to our Campus Saint-Jean and Augustana campuses respectively. If you are admitted to a program from the Faculty of Arts, most, if not all, of your required courses are found on North Campus. If you are looking for language courses, they are unique from one another and will not be found easily with the keyword Languages. Instead, use the drop-down menu to find the languages that you are looking for. The search will present you with your results. When you select one of the courses, you will arrive at the Course Detail page. Here you will see a brief overview of the course. Two buttons will be visible in the upper right corner, View Classes and Add to Planner. The planner is like a wish list. Save a number of courses you're interested in now and build a schedule with them at a later date. After adding any number of courses to the planner, you can select the Planner tab, then select any unassigned courses. Here you will see courses, their description, when they are typically offered, and your status in any courses on the list. This is not a list of all the courses from your program, only the courses that you've moved to your planner. After selecting a course, you can move the course to a specific term, view classes, or delete the course. The planner is most useful in later years when you're more familiar with Bear Tracks, and if you're trying to narrow down your course list from a larger number of interesting courses. Instead of adding courses to your planner, you can instead start choosing classes from your search. Select View Classes. You'll then be able to choose the term you'd like to add the class to. Here's the course information page with course selections. Here you will see if a class is open or full. For any open courses, you will see two options, Enroll and Cart. Enroll means you'll try to register in the course. Adding to Cart is like building a draft schedule. You can see how the courses will fit together before registering. If a course is full, you can add it to your watch list and you'll get updates if a spot opens up. 
This page also includes the class number, dates, and times of the course, a room number, and how many seats are still available. If you'd like more information, select the class number. Here, you'll find details such as whether or not the class has any requirements before attending, if it's restricted in any way, and the mode of instruction. For our example, we will add the class to our shopping cart. You will see a message indicating if the class was successfully added to your cart. If your course has more than one component, like a lab or a seminar, you'll see all the available combinations. Our demo shows one option. However, multiple combinations of a lecture, lab, and seminar can be available, as seen here. The lecture, lab, and seminar are grouped together, so you can register in all course components at once, and you don't need to worry about browsing all of the labs and seminars separately. You can view your shopping cart and watch list here. On the shopping cart page, you will see all classes added to your watch list and your cart. You will also see if any of your selections are at the same times or overlap. Enrolling will register you in all the courses you've selected, as long as there's no time conflicts and you're not restricted from registering in the course. If you're unsure if the course is restricted, it's a good idea to validate all courses before enrolling in them. There is a checkbox below the select title. If you have multiple courses and would like to enroll or validate them at the same time, check each of their boxes. Note, you may only enroll or register in a maximum of five courses per term. However, your shopping cart can contain more than five courses, all the ones that you're considering. If you're registered in a course and would like to drop it, but would also like to add another course in its place, use the Swap Classes tab. The drop-down menu will provide you with all the courses in your schedule. You can then search a course from your shopping cart or search a class directly. If you are already enrolled in a course, you can drop out of it. If you're dropping the class before the add drop deadline at the beginning of the term, then it's a simple removal. You're not responsible for the coursework or paying for the course, and it does not appear anywhere on your transcript. If you're dropping the class after the add drop deadline, but before the final course withdrawal deadline near the end of the term, then the drop is considered a course withdrawal. Withdrawn courses will appear on your transcript as a W. To better understand course withdrawals, review the notes on Bear Tracks or visit the Office of the Registrar Withdrawal webpage linked in the description. To view your schedule, select the My Schedule Calendar tab. Select your desired term. Here you'll see how your classes are arranged with one another. You'll be able to see if you've given yourself enough time to travel between classes and enough breaks to study and relax. Locations are hyperlinked and you can visit the campus map to view how close or how far apart your class locations are to one another. Here are a few helpful tips. Be aware of how flexible your program is. Most programs do not require you to be registered in a full five class course load each term. However, if you have any scholarships, read the fine print to understand if you're required to take five classes a term, or if you can maintain full-time student status, or even if you can have part-time student status. Full-time students complete at least three courses in the term. Part-time students complete two courses or less in the term. If you have questions about the flexibility of your program, you can consult our advising team in the Undergraduate Student Services Office. Students enrolled in specialized programs may want to consult program or departmental advisors as well. You can find the links to contact our advisors in the description. Give yourself breaks. Space out your courses. It's not recommended to have multiple courses back to back to back in your schedule. Building your schedule is not just about registering in courses. You should also schedule time to take breaks and to study. Build your schedule for the whole year. When your enrollment date arrives, you can enroll in classes in both fall and winter terms. We strongly encourage you to plan your schedule and then enroll in classes for the entire year as soon as you're able to. This is especially important if you're applying for student loans. You can keep changing your schedule until the add drop deadline of each term. For instance, you can continue to make changes to your fall schedule until the deadline in early September. And likewise, you can continue to make changes to your winter term schedule until the deadline in early January. There are so many classes to choose from, so explore your options. If you have a flexible program or are undeclared, take some time to explore the many course offerings available to you. Exploration is a good idea so you don't miss out on interesting courses that are coded by their department rather than their subject. One example is Modern Languages and Cultural Studies, MLCS. 
They have a variety of language and culture courses, but a number of the course codes all start with MLCS instead of the code for that specific topic. This has been our overview of course registration using BearTracks. If you have any questions, please contact us at arts.recruiting at ualberta.ca. Thank you and good luck with building your schedules.